It started off, I went to the doctors um, with my periods were a bit abnormal. So they referred me to a hospital and they, when they weighed me, they said that I was um, classed as obese. That was just the start of it. I never really took it on board, but then when I started getting comments from young lads... Um, so it was always the cruel kind of, yeah, some kind of jibe sort at of school like, and... Yeah. yeah, like the fat midget yeah. or... Oh, look at her, or... So how did you start off? Was it just, you know, maybe skipping your school lunch, or...? Um, it, it all started, it was quite gradual, mm. and then that was it. Within one year, everything just took control. My whole life just ended up in this massive bubble where it was just me and this eating disorder, mm. and no-one else understood about what I was going through. So no matter how much they said to me, you look fine, you look beautiful, mm. Jazz, why are you doing this to yourself? In my head, I had a goal weight, yeah. and that is what I was going to get to. And what was your goal weight? Six stone. That was your goal yes. weight, which you did, sadly, mm. and normally did you did achieve. Yes. Yeah. Um, you also said, you know, the cruel jibes at school, and you lived with that, and you said the diet process started for you. Yeah. But then you applied, you thought you might like a career in the army or the navy, yeah. and you went on, a, on a one of these blip. weekend courses, yeah. and they said what to you? Um, basically... The, I can see where they were coming from with the exercise. It is hard to exercise when you're overweight and get to the... I had a time limit that I had to do it in before to pass to go into the Navy and obviously I wasn't hitting that. And they said, if you start eating healthy, mm. um, exercising, mm. then obviously mm. I'd lose it. OK, yeah. but... You didn't you do then, the healthy no, way, though, no, did you? No, you, I didn't. You know, you find a way to lose it and tell people what that way was. Um, I was on a box of... T wow, it started off with, a, like, vomiting. I was binge eating, projectile vomiting. So you had multiple yes. eating disorders yes. and you were cultivating this, but then the addiction came and the addiction yeah. was to laxatives. It was pills. to laxatives. So the more I was losing weight, the, I, I was looking for other ways to lose more weight. So not only was I starving myself, I was drinking cups of tea, Red Bull, anything with... A massive amount of sugar just to keep me going. So no food, but just no. If phys it if it was food, it would be like maybe a little bit of salad cream or with zero percent fat in it. Literally just the cream. Just a bit of salad cream in the mouth or something just for my taste buds yeah. to. So the laxative problem was Eamon said. You know, you start off and thought, oh, this is a good way, so I can be sick and I can take a laxative. Yeah. How bad did that get? How many were you taking? Where were you getting them from? Um, I was going into Boots and buying um, a box of sixty um, for about six pounds. You can buy these things anywhere, chemist, yeah, supermarket. Yeah, they're so easy even shop. today. How many yeah. would you? How many would you take? Twenty in that one go. One Does twenty tablets equal twenty visits to the loo? Yeah, even more. It even was, more. I was, basically, I'd take it so when my mum and dad went to bed, I'd be up on the toilet and then I'd more likely, well, most of the time fell asleep on there. So they didn't or, even know this was happening, yeah, so you'd wait. Yeah, I thought they didn't, but yeah. they did. They could, but obviously. at what stage does the reality leave you that, um, yes, OK, you've got the buzz, you've got the fix, you actually realise you're achieving your goal of losing weight, but... But the best one in the world, that must hurt. It must yeah. hurt a lot sitting on the loo it 20, 30, 40 times a day. I went through 15 hours of labour. It doesn't seem that long, and that was nothing compared to being sat on that toilet. And I used to rock backwards and forwards but, but in agony.